Hi, it's Angie from Sunny Side Up Living Blog, and today I'm going to show you how to do this DIY easy no sew pillow for the holidays. Let's get started. Today I'm sharing how to make an easy DIY no sew pillow from a blanket kit. I bought these at Joanne along with a pillow insert. Once you have your fabric picked out, you'll want to determine the wrong side of your fabric. With fleece, you'll be able to see where the curled edge has a bit of sheen and slightly different texture. Stack both the top and bottom pieces of fabric together with the wrong side up on the bottom piece and the right side up on your top piece. With a ruler or measuring tape, mark your fabric so it's 4 inches larger than the pillow on both the width and length. My pillow is 18 inches square, so I'm cutting 22 square inches of fabric. Make sure you keep your two pieces together and cut through both of them. Next, using a measuring tape again, mark off a two inch square in each corner of your fabric. Here, I flipped my fabric over so you can see the top side. Cut your two inch squares through both pieces of fabric on each of the four corners. When you're done with your, this step, your fabric will look like this. Line your measuring tape along an edge and cut one inch by two inch strips of fabric along each side. Essentially, you're cutting to the length of the square you cut out of each corner. Again, make sure you cut through both pieces of fabric as you do this. Repeat this all the way around on each side. Now we're ready to knot the fabric or braid it. If you're not really crazy about a fringed edge, a slightly more complicated but more tailored look is to make a braided edge. To do this style, once you make your strips, you'll pick each one up and fold it in half. Using your scissors, cut a quarter inch slit into each strip. When you unfold it, you'll have a small hole in each strip. Working from a corner, take a set of strips in one hand and using your fingers, push the next set of strips through the hole on your first set, just like so. You'll do this all the way around the side and it won't take long before you see a braided look. You'll braid along three sides of your fabric and then insert your pillow and finish off your final side in the same fashion. I decided to add a holiday touch to my pillow and wanted a fringed edge. I'm going to show you a few ways to do this if you're interested in doing the same. One way is by threading a jingle bell through one of your corner strips just like so and then tie your knot to hold the jingle bell in place. With this particular fabric, silver jingle bells look best. Another way to add a holiday touch is by adding a small ball-shaped ornament to each corner. You just need to make sure the wire circle at the top of the ornament is large enough for you to push the fabric through. Now start knotting each of your top and bottom strips together on three sides of the pillow, working in the same direction. When you have three sides completed, it should look like this. Carefully open the fabric of the side you didn't knot and insert your pillow, gently pushing it through until it's all the way at the bottom of your fabric. Once that's done, you can finish it off by knotting your final side. This is the trickiest part to match up your fabric strips, but if you do mess up, it's easy to unknot and fix. This pillow was fun to make, and this pattern looks great on the rustic bench by our entryway. That's it for today. For more simple DIY projects like this one, hit subscribe.